Rob Schneider is a Wall Street executive with everything going for him. Only problem is, he's about to become a carrot. Oh, I'm a carrot. It's 24 carrot comedy. Rob Schneider is a carrot. Rated PG-13. All right, so what's up, people? You ready for some mind-blowing, game-changing, altering shit right here? Yeah, if you're sick of flying that goddamn plane around every time you want to go get a new target, this is a video for you right here. Look, you see that? From the moment he tells you this, you got a 48-minute window, people. So keep that in mind. All right, first things first. No matter what, you do have to launch this at least one time. Yeah, people, and if I were you, I would, uh go into the story and do an online session because there's nothing worse than flying that vellum all the way across the map and then uh it just doesn't work and you have to restart and do it again we use our usual entry point for reconnaissance. oh boys boys i got something for you yeah unfortunately there's really no way around having to fly this plane at least once initially because the glitch involves kind of like, you'll see when I get it, but you need to use the hangar to do the glitch. Like, you can't, there's no way to glitch this particular mission out, but when you go back to regather intel, oh, there you can do stuff. I'm here for you. Yes, oh my god, I almost forgot to call her. Oh, whoo! It's been a Why can't you ask Hey, what's up, dude? Time for once, eh? You know, if I had that giant purple dildo from San Andreas, I would beat your ass to death with it right here and blow my cover, but I don't, so you're lucky. Yeah, for the record, you can also take that bike over there and go fucking yeet your way over that cliff, but I like doing the luxury helicopter method. It's very, very easy. You don't really have to do much. Your best jump in, right? Here's the place to go. You exec types always nope. rushing. That's not happening. Okay, let's not just like hit the side of this tower and fall to our deaths for no reason. And you'll know that it's up on the tower if that guard's stationed down there. If he's not, it's going to be on the ground floor. What do we got? Ruby necklace. How fun. Yeah, but you know, obviously that's not a pink diamond or a panther statue when it comes out. So you're going to want to go to a new session, people. Work your way up here. Go over yonder. And it's real simple, you're just gonna gather intel again, but keep in mind you're gonna want to be close to uh, the airport right here, because you're gonna have to go back there to the hangar. Oh, I fucking love this animation! This is like worth owning the helicopter alone right here, although you definitely should own the helicopter. Imagine you didn't own the helicopter. Had to like spawn a dinghy every time you launched the mission. All right, so here's what you do. This is, the right this is the important part. This is the important part. Pavel, shut up. All right, here's what you do. You get Pavel on the phone. This is kind of like the uh, the changing vault contents glitch a little bit. So you get you get Pavel on the phone right here. You kind of go close to the hangar. Ah, Captain. How can I? And you just kind of drift towards the hangar and cancel it. And then keep flying into the hangar. Just like this. It'll launch that mission. And look at that. Whoa! So, you know, obviously doing it like this, though, means you can't call the assistant, which means you're gonna have to once again take that bike and work your way over to the target again. Wait, I will kill you with a dildo once, when eh? I find it. Arms out. Let's it was we'll in the police soon. station in San Andreas. That shit was hilarious. For the record, you have to wait for this guy to uh, turn around. If you try to jump over the cliff right here, he'll see you. You could also just take the bike and drive through the compound like that, but there's really no need. He turns around a lot quicker here than he does in the heist. And make sure you pull back on the left stick when you go off this. Otherwise, you might have a hard time clearing it. Oh, fucking yeet! There you go. And, you know, just real casual, right down the road. Fuck these guys. 
Unless there's a car here, then you got a problem, but keep an eye on the map, you should be good. Oh yeah, no, let me just work my way all the way to the top, God damn it. Okay. Alright, what is it? Tequila! Great, even worse. Yeah. So, scope the place. You let Pavel finish talking about what he wants to talk about, like with this, the case, and all that. And once he is done talking, then you gotta fucking go to a new session. Yet again. Alright, people, you ready for the moment of truth? So you just work your way up here to the planning screen like, uh, like usual. There's another key thing you gotta do, alright? Do not touch anything on the screen. Alright, listen, don't touch anything on the screen. Just come over here, right? Change your outfit. Because you need to force a stave. And changing your outfit is one of the easiest ways to do that, so. And you do that, and you back up. You see that little orange on the bottom right? There you go. Now listen. You force the save. You're basically going to go into this, and you're going to pay to set it up again. And it's going to be something random when you restart it. And if it's something that you don't like, you can quit the game and restart it. But keep in mind, there's this you only have this 48 minute window to do all this. So you have to do like that whole setup initially, which takes about 20 minutes. So you only have like 25 more minutes to try to get targets. But look, watch, I'll show you. If it's, if it's something you don't want, just disconnect the game. Like quit, disconnect your internet, and then restart. So set it up. Piece of shit. Oh, it is tequila again. Great. All right, people. Oh fuck, can you feel the anticipation? Get ready to quit again, if it's something you don't want. Oh, look, a necklace again. Fucking goddamn it. You know what they say, people. Third time's the charm. Oh, the fucking necklace again. God damn it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? It's bearer bonds. Not terrible, but I want diamonds. All right, come on. God damn it. All right, the moment of truth. Oh, look at that, bearer bonds. All right, well, you know, I was hoping to get footage of the pink diamond, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have time to do this again. Cause like I said before, and I will repeat so that you guys don't fuck yourselves over. You only have 48 minutes to try to do this. So in my in my window, I got, I probably did this about like six or seven times and I got like, I was trying to get footage of getting the pink diamond, but it's, it's random. Like you could get tequila three times in a row and be like, what the fuck, this doesn't work. But like, it, it is a random chance of possibly getting a different target. Like you saw, I got a ruby necklace, a bearer bonds and the tequila a few times, I think. I got Ruby Necklace twice, Bearer Bonds twice, and Tequila twice. But even still, like, you get to try a lot more times in that window than you would if by, like, canceling and restarting the whole heist and having to fly that stupid fucking Vellum again. But yeah, like, literally, like, once he says you're good to restart the heist, like, start a timer. You have a 48 minute window, and if you try to. Like right now, if I were to quit and restart and do all that, it would it would not work. But also, this is the last thing that's very important. To save this target, just to make sure. Go into your style, change your outfit, and then change back. Force a save, and you're good to go. So yeah, this is this is gonna be like incredibly useful when it comes to like trying to get the Panther statue when it comes out, because you're gonna have to obviously rescope the island and do all that bullshit so 
you just you have to haul ass because if you don't you're gonna quickly find that i found it took about like five minutes to uh start and reload like loading into the story and then doing an invite only uh, session for the story so yeah people that's it that's it for now you know the whole spiel you know leave a like uh subscribe thumbs up all that stuff if you appreciate it uh thanks for watching you know this twitch is almost at a thousand followers and discord's a thing you know i made that for lfg but discord's pretty fucking wild too and yeah till next time folks bam that's how you change targets changing targets glitch yeah what's up who's coming at you with wild glitches like this not anyone although dude shout out to uh csr bullet for um making a video about this that's where i figured it out so shout out to that dude okay the networks are down the equipment is ready and we've crippled their supply yes lester i i i know it's been the networks have been down for like a year and he's been like what the fuck are we gonna go on this or what Oh, boy. Hey! Hey! Think I just got the hard on. Nice! He's like, did he just steal my tank? Yes, I did. Yeah! Suck on that, other tank. Now, sometimes you see the good old-fashioned tank battling. Nice!